go ahead, Infinite. What's up, my name is Infinite, and I'm gonna show y'all how to make soulful, bouncy beats for Smino from scratch. So the first thing I started off with was this pure piano preset. The almost electric preset is golden when you're trying to do like old school hip hop soulful kind of stuff, you feel me? And I ended up making this chord progression with it. Now, if we take a look at the MIDI, you can see a lot of strum, a lot of velocity differentiation. We also got a couple extra notes right here to make it a little bit more bouncy and a little bit more human. You know what I mean? And when you break everything down, this chord progression is really simple just because it's this chord, you repeat it once over here. You feel me? Except I just put one note on top right here because you know, sometimes you just gotta sauce things up. And then this one is just a variation of this chord. It's just, just like a little bit different. Then I took that chord same thing right here and then just to add like a little bit of variation for the last bar to make sure that it repeats over really well did a little bit of difference with that then after that i got this preset from analog lab and i laid down these chords now i'm gonna tell y'all right now this is like this the sauciest trick when it comes to like doing this like old school stuff bro they would have roads and just do like little sprinkles of like melodies and stuff like that you know what i mean so you would have your normal chord but then they would also get like roads and just do like these little ding, 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 like little accents and everything like that so that's what i was trying to achieve with this right here so realistically all i'm doing is just taking like the regular chords that we were using for the piano progression and then what i would do is i would just highlight this hit strum and then you can either go up like this which definitely does sound cool or you can go down like this and it gives like a slightly different effect just because when it's descending and going down and everything like that it just just sounds saucy bro so i went into opus because that's like one of the go-to places for strings for me when it comes to like soulful older records and everything like that strings are very important and having multiple different layers to the strings gives the whole sample a little bit more depth. Now I've said this once before, and I'm gonna have to say it again. Do not forget the bass line. They are so important. So I used Ample Bass P Light 2, you feel me? And I just kind of put in this little pattern right here. Basically what you do is that you follow the root notes of the original chord progression and everything like that. But you just start adding little notes like this to help transition into the next root note. You know what I mean? Just doing things like that just makes the sample way more interesting. <laughs> Then I laid down this vocal sample right here from Opus. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I showed everybody like where I get my vocal samples from for like my beats and loops and everything like that. And this is just living proof that I'm actually like telling y'all where I get my stuff. You feel me? Now, when I was making soul samples, I was in the mindset of like, yo, one shots and sound effects can really just take your loops and samples to a whole nother level. So I went on to Splice and I got this little guitar one shot right here. And then the last thing that I added for this loop is this little wind chime right here. Then after that, I exported the melody and I pitched it up 200 cents and this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Ah, real quick, if you like this loop, I'ma let y'all know, you can find a whole bunch of other ones with the MIDI, by the way, in my Throwbacks Loop Kit. Yes, sir, I did drop it a little while ago, but just if we being honest, if you like the vibes from this loop right here, you're gonna really, really love the vibes from the Throwback Loop Kit. So, I'll play a couple of them right here, and we gonna get back to the video. <laughs> Thank you. 
So when it comes to beats for Smino, it is hard not to mention Monty Booker. When I was making this beat and I was laying down the drums, I was definitely trying to go into the mind of Mencia, you feel me? Like I was trying to become Monty Booker. So I was like, okay, what do I need to do? I need to get laser one shots. So I got this little laser one shot right here. Bunch of reverb, bunch of delay and everything like that. And I would just put that on the one for every single bar of drums that I had. And then just to add a little bit more texture to the beat and add a little bit more bounce and everything like that too, I got this live hi-hat loop. Then after all that, I felt like it was finally time to start laying down the more foundational drums. So I put down this rim shot right here. Then I laid down this hi-hat pattern. Two step, gotta have it. Changing the velocities like this and like this to make sure that they're like alternating with going up and down and everything like that, gotta do it. Going to the hi-hat and then going to the wrench and turning the shift up an absurd amount, gotta do it, you know what I mean? And then adding small little rolls like this, gotta do it. And then with the 808 pattern, I didn't do anything crazy. This is what it sounds like by itself. And as you can see with the MIDI, I was just doing like a regular, regular pattern and everything like that. Maybe a couple extra notes to kind of just make it a little bit bouncy and everything. But for the most part, pretty simple, pretty easy to follow. Then all I did after that was just alter the 808 a little bit. So I turned up the out knob and I went to the pre-computed effects and then I turned up the boost knob and I turned up the EQ knob. Now with this EQ knob right here, you gotta remember, to the right, it boosts the low end. To the left, it cuts the low end. Oh, I also added this little uh, one shot thingy right here. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> it's kind of hard. I also added this little transition effect right here. And then the last thing I did for the beat was I actually took it and I pitched it down two semitones, which is funny because before I exported, I pitched it up two semitones. So I basically didn't need to do that. Now we can just end the video right there. And that is how you make bouncy, soulful beats for Smino. So if you want to like the video, hit the like. If you want to comment, throw a comment. If you want to sub, hit the sub. You feel me? My name is Devin. I'll go by Infinite or Pop by Infinite. And peace out. Hey, go ahead, Infinite.